Okay, the last race of the day here at Punchestown is La Touche Cup. It's a four mile, two furlong, 0 to 160 handicap. So, number one, fast laps for David Robertson, Ikea Q for Paul Rhodes, Mira Math Durr for Leon Van Rensburg, Archie Leo for Obi Wan, now and then Martin Leedham, double first Kevin Mean Hands, Zar Creek for Stu Gray, Zelade Manana for Darren Thompson, Pula for Graham Clutterbuck, Olivia Grace for Darren Howes, Elfberg, James Follis, 180 Molly at Surfer. Wild Coco for Doug Warren, Whitney for James Follis, Greeny and Moore for Darren Howes, Street Fire for Doug Warren, and Eki Herr Monson for Alex Cherry make up the 18 over this marathon four miles, two furlongs to finish the day on week 12, day one. And it's like two shake up. And approach the first at 22. And everybody's negotiated it well. And we're being led by Tsar Crete, who's. Uh, a little bit of a tussle with Wild Coco. And then we've got double first in third. And there are a couple of lengths ahead of uh, Pula, Archileo, Ikea Q, 180 and Street Fire. And they've got another further... Oh, we've lost one there. 180 has gone. Unlucky Moliets going at the second. We're following through Street Fire and Mira Mathdur, Whitney, Olivia Grace, Elfberg. Zelade Menyana wide, as is Monson. Then we've got Grania Moore, Ekier, now and then, and Fast Lass, just at the rear at the moment. He was unlucky last week at the Grand National. He was uh, tipped by a few, as we see him going away from us here. And leading on out is Zar Creek, who came fourth in the Grand National last week. Takes the third, gets over it. As does the remainder. And it's a Zar Creek that leads us by about two to Wild Coco, double first, and Archileo. And then a couple back to Street Far and Ikea Q. And a further two to Pula, Miramath Durr, and Olivia Grace. We take the fourth, which is a ditch. Everybody's over that. And then just the back group at the moment are Whitney, Elfberg, Zelade, Menyana, Monson, Fast Lass, Ekier, now and then, and Grania Moore. And again, well stretched out already. We still have well over three miles to travel. And Zar Crete's uh, pulling them along from Double First and Wild Coco and Archileo. And they're about four ahead of Street Fire and Ikea Q. And a further two back to Miramath Durpula and Olivia Grace as they go over the fifth. Everybody gets over it well. Just at the rear at the moment is Grania Moore now and then. And the orange silks of Howes, Howes and Leadham. But it's Zar Creek for Stu Gray that leads us by a couple to double first of Kevin Mean Hands. And then we've got Archer Lair for Obi Wan. While Coco for Doug Warren has got four and five. He has Street Fire. And a length or so back to Ikea Q for Paul Rhodes. And Pula for Graham Clutterbuck. Miramath Durr, Grand National winner of two seasons ago. And Olivia Grace, they make this take the six. And they really jumped that quite well. We're still being led by Zar Creek. Three miles to travel. Zar Creek. Double first and Archer layer together. Wild Coco. Couple back to Street Fire and Ikea Q. And well strung out here by the leader. I take the seventh. It looks like everybody's over that. So we only lost one, which was 180. I think we went at the third. It was a faller. There's probably uh, 25, 30 lengths between first and last. Into the ditch, the eighth. The leaders are over it. And one, oh no, we've lost one. Eck years on CD's rider. Unlucky Alex didn't see that one. But he's had enough of the jock and he's off. And it's Zar Creek that still leads us. We're just a length or so to Wild Coco and double first. Archelay are running well. And Street Fire and Ikea Q. They're a good couple of lengths ahead of uh, the three of Pula, Livia, Grace and Mira Mathdur as they go over the ninth. And everybody's over, including the loose horse, which I think is Ekier. And it still was our creep from Wild Coco, double first and Archileo. And we've got Street Fire and Ikea Q. Then Pula, Olivia, Grace and Mira Mathdur. They take the tenths. Everybody's over that as well. Well, the ones that are left in it. So, still got 16 runners. And we're still being led by Zar Creek with Wild Coco for company. 
Uh, two ahead of double first and Archer Leo. Go to the 11th all a poor jump there. But oh, the leader, and we've lost one there as well. Ikea Q went for Paul Rhodes. Bad luck. There was a poor jump with the lead by Zar Creek, which has allowed Wild Coco to take it up now. So through half the, of the fences. They approach the 12th. And it's Wild Coco that's going to lead us into it. Wild Coco for Doug Warren. Gets up over it well, a little bit slow. The remainder are all over it as well. But it's still Wild Coco. It's our Crete on his inside. Archelay on his outside. And look, double first. We see him approaching the grandstand. Have a circuit to go and less than two miles to travel. Plenty of cheering going on there and arm waving. Whee! There they go. Clap, 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 clap. They go past the winning post. Have a circuit to go. And another nine fences to jump, and it's Wild Coco it still leads us. Well, he has Zar Creek for company as well. Now, Archelay on the outside, they get to the 13th. They will take it well. And, oh, and we've lost one there. Another one, uh, Elfberg went down. Jockey couldn't quite hang on to him there, so that's one down for Mr. Follis. Bad luck, but it's Zar Creek, Wild Coco, and Archelayo, and double first. All been there since the beginning. They get over the 14th. Everybody negotiates it. So it's Zar Creek still. From Archelea, Wild Coco, double first. These four have been running quite well and led for most of the race. And they've got a couple of lengths on Street Fire and a further length back to Oliver Grace and Pula. And then three back to Miramath Dirt. A further three back to Whitney. And then probably another three back to Fast Last now and then. Monsoon, Zelade Menyana. And I can't see Grania more at the moment. Just under a mile and a quarter to travel, a mile and a half to travel. They take the 15th. The leaders are over it. As are the chasers. There is Grainy Amore. But it's Wild Coco, Zar Creek, and Archelayo. All one, two, and three together. And the length back to double first. Street Fire's made up some ground and closed the gap on the leaders. As has Pula and Olivia Grace. And it's still mile and a quarter. And it's Zar Creek from Wild Coco, Archelayo, double first. And a couple of links back to Street Fire and Pula. And Olivia Grace. And then three back to Miramath Dirt. And Whitney following them through. They take the 16th. One that was slow over that was Wild Coco. The rest of them get over it. Just over a mile to travel still. And it's still Zachary, Archelea, Wild Coco, double first. Pula, Street Fire, and Olivia Grace taking closer order now. And about four back to Miramath, Durham, Whitney. And we can see Fast Lass now and then. So Zachary, jockey puts his. Uh, his horse's head down under a little bit of pressure. They're all over the 17th, and it's our creek that's trying to head for home now with seven and a half furlongs left to run. May well have gone a little bit too early here. Leads by a couple to double first and Archileo. Looks very ominous. Then we've got Wild Coco and Pula. Street Fire and Livia Grace. They go over the 18th. Our creek was a little bit slow. The remainder get over it. And they get a little bit closer now, but it's our creek that still leads us. Six furlongs left to travel. Four to jump, and it's our creek, Archileo, double first. First, in between those is Wild Coco against the fences. Pula being held up, or he hasn't got no room either. Either and then we've got a three. Miramath Doers made up some good ground. Street fires there. Olivia Grace on the outside. Here comes Whitney and Fast Lass as they go over the 19th. A slow jump by Zarkreet has allowed Archileo to take it up now. So Archileo leads by about half a length to Zarkreet. Then double first. The ones that are moving well on the outside now. Fast Lass and Whitney. But it's Zarkreet that still leads us with four lengths, four furlongs left to go and a couple to jump. So Zara Creek's going to take them into the 20th. Jumps it well, a bit slow. Didn't get away from it particularly well. The rest are over it. So it's Zara Creek being challenged now by Archileo. Whitney and Fast Lass on the outside. Looks very ominous. So Whitney, Fast Lass, Zara Creek, Archileo. A further couple of links back to Miramath Dur. These are starting to pull away from the rest of the pack. I'm not sure anything's going to run on as they make the 21st. The penultimate. They're all over it. The leaders, as is the remainder. But it's Whitney that just leads by about a nose now to Fast Lass. Archileo doesn't look like he's got anything up left. Zarkreet's going backwards. Miramath is trying to run on, but it's two furlongs to go and one to jump, and it's Fast Lass that takes it up by half a length from Whitney in second. Archelea running on. Miramath Dur doing well. Gets over the 22nd. Gets over it well, as does the remainder. Oh, and it's lost one there. Brandy Moore went, but it's Fast Lass that's got the lead inside the final furlong. Leads by a couple from Whitney. Miramath Dur is running on. Archelea and Zarkreet have got nothing left, but I think Fast Lass has got this. This is Fast Lass off, off top weight. 12 stone done four miles two furlongs off the top weight a great win here for david robertson second was whitney 
third was Miramath Dur. I'm not sure who got up for fourth there. But a great win there off 12 stone for fast laughs. David Robertson, nice win. Second was Whitney for James Follis. Third was Mira Mathder for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Zella de Mignana for Darren Thompson. Fifth was Archuleo for Obi Wan. Our long time leader, Zarkreet, was six. And that's it for the day. We'll join you tomorrow. Adios.